very much the climax of a great deal of geological detective work. And in Canada, it's the climax of one of the most complex geological detective um, stories that is possible, because Canada's geology includes a large area of shield. It seems very flat and uninteresting at first, but as well as yielding very much of Canada's wealth, it also yields a great deal of data about the history of continents, not just Canada's history, but the history of continents as continents. Basically, it depends on the interpretation of the age of a rock, the recognition of the ages of rocks. One of the most complex problems of the 60s, which was solved by radiometric dating. The first part of the coming hour is a Planet of Man program, the Shield of Plenty, which deals with the fact that Canada's wealth is largely found in its shield, and the second part of the hour deals with the interpretation of the geological history of that shield. This bay in which we are moored is typical of much of northern Ontario and indeed northern Canada, and such rocks occur in the heart of every continent. They're called Precambrian. You'll notice they're not flat and uniform, but they're red, granitic, and contorted. They're the oldest rocks in the world, and they take their name from the fact that some ancient rocks, about half a billion years old, were first found in Wales, called Cambrian, after the ancient name of that country. And all older rocks, older than half a billion years, are now called Precambrian. These are Granville rocks on the shores of Lake Huron in Ontario and were formed about one billion years ago. Uranium and nickel, platinum, silver, lead, zinc. Mineral resources that build the foundations of modern industrial economies. Mineral resources and the oldest rocks on Earth. Rocks of the Precambrian. Precambrian? Before the Cambrian. The Cambrian is the first geologic period whose rocks contain easily identified fossils. Cambrian fossils are about 600 million years old. From the Cambrian then to the present is 600 million years. Pre-Cambrian, all the time, and all the rocks from 600 million years ago to four and one half billion years ago. Precambrian rocks are found throughout the world. Most of them, 17% of the total land area of the Earth, form extensive shields in every continent. The Canadian Shield, 
South American shield, the Baltic, the African, the Indian, and the Australian shield. In almost every case, the shields are formidable places. Difficult to penetrate and hard to live in. Sometimes, only the lure of possible mineral wealth draws people into this world. Apart from the shields, Precambrian rocks are found at the bottom of deep gorges, like the Grand Canyon, where erosion has cut away the younger rocks. And some are at the base of mountains, like the Sandia Range in New Mexico. the rocks of the Precambrian. It's only in this century that the almost unbelievable duration of Precambrian time has become clear. Around the turn of the century, it was thought that the Precambrian was relatively a very short period of time, and the Earth itself was believed to be only about 40 million years old. In the first 20 million years, molten rock was supposed to have cooled and laid the granite foundations on which Cambrian and later rocks were built. The evidence found in Cambrian and later rocks, however, made this theory unacceptable to geologists. The theory failed entirely in accounting for the great thickness of rocks deposited since Precambrian time. The 20th century has confirmed the geologists' doubts. By 1917, the estimate of the Earth's age had increased to 1 billion, 500 million years. By 1947, this figure had jumped to three billion years. Now, the Earth is estimated to be four and a half billion years old. It's not easy to grasp a billion. It may not even be possible. But if we can suspend our disbelief, the nearly four billion years of Precambrian time must surely be a haunting mystery for mankind the mystery of his origin. Today's best guesses suggest that our world began about the same time as our solar system, 4.5 or 4.6 billion years ago, when a cloud of dust and gas pulled itself together into a sphere, the Earth. Precambrian time extends from that event forward four billion years. Precambrian is not an expression, a couple of days or a few years. It's 88% of the entire history of the Earth. It is awesome. It is fascinating. It is frustrating. Historical evidence for all of the Precambrian is not available. It is perhaps lost forever. The oldest rocks found on Earth up to now are 3.8 billion years old, so that the Precambrian's first 700 million years are not documented. And these oldest rocks are hard to assess. In the history of geology, Information about the Precambrian and the techniques of getting that information are relatively new. Precambrian rocks, found in some of the most inaccessible and most inhospitable places on Earth, have given up their secrets very, very slowly. Some of the information came accidentally as a byproduct of other operations. 